Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Vincent University Jasper Campus. Uh, we're glad to have you here today. I'm Terry Sykes, the mayor of the city of Jasper. Uh, I find this fascinating that you are all here to work the show, to look at securing um, jobs and spread uh, the um, ability to work in this area around. And it kind of answers the question, how do we take a county that's consistently as the highest level of employment in the state of Indiana and multiply that even more? Thank you for being here today because it tells us you're looking to improve your business, which improves our economy. We also thank you for participating in this action today to secure potential employments for our veterans. Uh, on behalf of the Congressman Young, Congressman Bouchon, and Mayor Danny Spinner of Honeybird, we'll be greeting you in a moment. Again, as Mayor of Jasper, I welcome you here. For those of you visiting our community, come back anytime. For those of you who are representing our community, our community with your uh, companies, thank you very much for making Jasper your business home. Very good to see you here today. Well, thank you very much, Mayor, and, and I thank our other mayor uh, for his participation in this event. Uh, I want to thank more than anyone else, all of you. Uh, thank you for being here today. You are 50% uh, of this effort. The other 50% are those people who, who are going to cycle through here and are looking for employment. Um, you know, these are difficult times. Who are we kidding? The economy's down. A lot of people are uh, concerned about the future and anxious about uh, where they're going to be working, where their kids and grandkids are going to be working. And, and of course, there are things we can do in Washington to help improve that situation. And uh, many of those are, are things that are being contested right now in the political realm. But it's nice to know that there are still things that are above and beyond politics. One of them is just trying to connect job seekers to uh, job creators. That's why what we're doing here today. Uh, it's one of the more gratifying parts of my job. We've held these job fairs in different parts throughout my district and had a lot of success in helping to connect uh, employers to uh, workers. And uh, we, we hope we'll have some success here today. So. Um, as we do this exercise and as you go off and are able to uh, finally secure some new employees, if you would just stay in touch, the one request I have, stay in touch with the organizers here. And let us know what sort of success or lack thereof you had so that uh, we'll be aware of it. And, and if you have any suggestions for improvement, please give us some feedback as well. Um, we'll continue to offer this service. I will say uh, it's been an honor to serve uh, this ninth congressional district. The size and shape of our district will be changing around a little bit uh, here in coming months. So for some of you, uh, and maybe the last time I'm, I'm in front of you for a period of time, uh, you're going to have a new congressman. Um, that, that election will be coming up uh, here soon. Uh, but I can say one of my colleagues uh, that I've enjoyed working with in terms of organizing this effort uh, has been Congressman Larry Bouchon, who you'll hear from next. Uh, so thank you to him and his staff, uh, and also members of my own staff uh, that collaborated on this effort. Well, thanks, thanks Congressman Young. It is, it is great to be here. With the redistricting, Du Bois County is now in the new 8th Congressional District, and I'd like to just thank uh, Congressman Young and his staff for allowing us uh, to participate in his jobs fair here uh, in Jasper. I'd also like to thank the Jasper Chamber of Commerce, Work One, Southwest, and Vincent University, Jasper Campus, of course, as well as Dubois Strong for working in conjunction with Congressman Young's office uh, to help uh, organize today's uh, jobs fair. And also I'd like to thank the 30 plus employers that have come out today uh, with the availability at last count of over 300 open job positions that are available for, in this community for people who are seeking work. Uh, as Congressman Young said, right now we're in a difficult time. We've had an unemployment level of over 8% for about 43 straight months. Uh, and uh, everything uh, that we can do at the federal level from our offices, uh, we are trying to do to help get people in Indiana back to work. And one of those is job fairs. I've held job fairs in Evansville and Terre Haute. Uh, in my current uh, district. They've been very successful in Evansville. We had over 800 jobs available, and in Terre Haute, over 400 jobs available. And uh, we're still getting back data on how many employers were able to be matched with qualified employees. So it's an honor for me to be here today uh, in uh, your community, and I hope the employers and employees uh, have great success today 
and let's uh, let's get out there and let's match some qualified employees with employers. So uh, thank you very much.